Okay, so the sandwich dough has fermented for two hours and now we're ready to shape it. And so you're going to take your dough, you're gonna dust the surface of your workspace just lightly and you're gonna put the dough on the surface. And then this is called a Pullman loaf pan. And this holds exactly 1.5 kilos of dough, which is exactly what we've made. And I'm just gonna quickly pull the lid off it's a non-stick pan, but you can always, if you're a little uncertain or a little afraid that it might stick, you can just sort of spray it very gently. And so what we're going to do with this dough is very easily, we're going to deflate it again, and we're really going to push the air out onto your work surface and really flatten it out. And then you're going to basically, mine sort of flattened out into a rectangle and I'm going to take the top part of this rectangle and just sort of bring it into the center and sort of seal it with the palm of my hand and then I'm going to take the bottom half and bring that up just like I'm making a letter and you can sort of with your hands sort of this is a really really flexible dough so you can sort of shape it into that rectangle shape and so then I've got my seam down here and then what I'm going to do is it's about the length of the pan I'm going to take the seam and put it down on the bottom of the pan, sort of smush my bread in. This is a really forgiving shape, so don't be afraid if it doesn't look like you've shaped it perfectly. I'm going to take my fingers, I'm going to pinch the dough down and smush the dough into the corners of the pan. I'm just really going to sort of even it out. And now I'm going to put the lid on my pan because I want a nice flat loaf of bread. If you didn't want a flat loaf of bread, you could proof the pan without the lid on it and you'd get a domed sandwich loaf. I like it when it's flat. Um, so I'm going to put the lid on and I'm going to leave it a crack open so I can watch the proofing. And I'm going to let this proof. It takes about an hour and a half to proof in a warm environment. When it's done proofing, it will literally be sort of coming out of the pan. And you can see it's been about an hour and 40 minutes that it's been proofing and I helped it proof by putting it like close to the top of my stove and it's now grown out of the top and that is exactly what we want to see. We want that little bit of dough coming right out. I'm just going to quickly like close the lid and pull that little piece of dough right off and then I'm going to put this in the oven and it bakes for one hour at 350 degrees. So our Pullman loaf has been baking for an hour and 10 minutes and we're going to take it out of the oven now. And when you're taking this out of the oven, the most important thing when you're taking a Pullman loaf out of the oven is to take it out of the pan immediately, otherwise it will steam itself silly. and let it cool until it's room temperature. And that is how you make a sandwich loaf.